Right. So uh, one of the things I know you do, you're involved in the sort of social trading side mm -hmm. or what, what trade other traders are doing. Can you explain something about that? Yeah, I'm doing, uh, I've teamed up with the guys who run the Trade Signaler app. And um, social trading, I'm sure, is something that, that plenty of us have heard about over the years. But it's never, I don't think, been pushed that much in the UK. You know, the UK is, is the biggest market, I think, for retail trading, spread betting, CFDs, FX, all of that. It's where everything started. Um, but I think because the two sort of major companies in the UK, two major brokers, don't do social trading, it's never got any traction. So I started looking into it a bit earlier this year because in, in theory, it makes, it makes great sense, I thought, social trading because, you know, we know, we know that most traders lose money. You know, if you put, um, if you have 100 people trading today, in three months' time, we'll be lucky if a third of them are making money. That's the cold, hard facts of trading. Um, but social trading, if people are trading through a broker that lets them do that, lets them, if they want to, make their account and their historic performance um, viewable. So you can look at a, you can rank them by profitability and say, okay, there are, there are 10 guys who've made, maybe made 5% a month over the last 12 months. They're interesting. And um, then you can just follow them and mimic their trades on your account. So I, I started playing around with this in um, March this year. And I did it sensibly on, on a demo, first of all. So for three weeks, I ran this demo account. And it made 15% in three weeks, but with the, the disclaimer and the massive warning, with massive volatility. You know, the, the P&L swings were enormous. Yeah. Um, so it, it was an impressive return for a month, but it was something of a roller coaster ride. So then I started doing it with, with real money and more conservatively. And it's, 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 you know, it sort of does what it says in it, Tim. The idea is to try and find consistently profitable traders who aren't taking on massive levels of risk, who you're confident can crunch out a steady you know, quarterly profit. You know, and in a low interest rate environment like we're in at the moment, if they can sit there and make a few percent quarter, happy days. So, uh, so I've been doing it sort of with real money for a few months now, but on a more conservative basis. And I think there is, there's this gap of knowledge of it in the UK. So, so me and Trade Signaler, we're doing this... Um, like a weekly newsletter, just highlighting, it's, it's all free, you know, highlighting which social traders look interesting in the moment, which are maybe going off the boil, um, what markets people are making money in, just to try and give people something of, of a helping hand. And for me, you know, this idea of social trading or copy trading, it doesn't replace what you do for yourself, but it's, um, it's maybe a slightly more conservative and an interesting addition, you know, just to, to, to trading normally, where you're sitting there and managing maybe, you know, five top traders or who you hope are top traders um, rather than sitting there and doing it yourself and I still do it myself as well but I think it's maybe an interesting and a bit more a bit more of a sedate approach to trading because I think a common complaint amongst people is they don't have time to research the markets they don't want to watch the markets all day long and I think it's a way of gaining exposure without having to be sat in front of a screen eight nine hours so there's a, day. a time factor but there's also if you're especially if you're new to the market to learn hopefully the good habits or learn a good approach Without before you get, you know, you, you, you get carted out of the market, which tends to happen. Most people they fail before they have a chance of being successful because they just run out of money or they run out of patience. Mm -hmm. And if you can copy somebody that is new, is, is good, is good, good and worth following, mm. that can that can springboard you to a, to a different level. Exactly, and, and the way you know the way to do it, the way I do it is it, you just my account replicates what they do, so I don't even get involved. You know, I can just you can just view on a web browser. What open trades you got? What's your PL look like? And it just mimics your account at a level of risk you're happy with. So you, have, so you can set it up so if the trader you're following loses 2% of his account or her account, you only lose 0.2% of your account. So you can set it up really small. And, and you're right, it's, it's, I, think, but I think for anybody, for any level of experience, but I think most people's experience of trading is a negative one. You know? and, and, and that's the, the reality of the business. That's not a secret, I don't think, for anybody. And it's why. You know, companies constantly have to keep spending money to get people in, and I think it's it's a it's a nice um, complementary add-on to your own personal trading. I think a way of getting exposure at a level of risk you want, without risking blowing up your account in the first six months. Plus, also you can keep your day job because you're not having to look at the screen all the time, which I pre presume is a big factor for many many people. I think it is, but I think actually with, 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 with trading, like when we were talking about big levels, I think there is a misconception, uh, if we go back to sort of self-directed trading, that you have to sit there and watch the screen all day long. It's definitely, I think, from when I worked at IG and CMC, it's definitely what the feedback we get from a lot of clients. But again, I think if you're looking at big levels in the market, in this day and age of placing orders and having you know, your, your, your spread betting platform or your CFD platform on an app, 
you don't need to watch the screen all day long. But I think a, a common complaint that people have is they don't have the knowledge, they don't have the time. So the idea of maybe copying profitable traders is, is a way, I think, of, of getting around that.